Think about this for a second. A normal USB drive, no hacking software open, no internet connection, no alerts. You plug it in and Wi-Fi passwords start leaking from the system. In this video, I'm showing you two completely different USB-based methods to steal Wi-Fi credentials from a Windows PC. The first method is controlled and targeted. You decide which Wi-Fi network you want. The USB looks only for that name and extracts its password. But the second method is where things get dangerous. No target, no setup, no Wi-Fi name needed. Just plug the USB in and it automatically pulls every saved Wi-Fi network and password from the machine. This second method doesn't care who the victim is, what network they use, or how many Wi-Fi connections are stored. If the PC has connected before, the password is already lost. This is why physical access attacks are still one of the most dangerous threats today. No firewalls, no IDS, no network monitoring can stop this. So in this video, I'll break down both methods, show how they work, and explain why the second one is far more dangerous in real-world attacks. Before going into the video, I need to strongly mention that this content is made strictly for educational and ethical hacking purposes only. All demonstrations are done in a controlled environment on systems I own or have permission to test. I do not support or encourage illegal access, misuse, or malicious activity. If you use this knowledge in the wrong way, you are fully responsible for your actions. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and watch the video till the end. So let's get into the video soon. First, you'll need a USB storage device like this. Plug it into your computer. Next, create a notepad document and open it. The method we are going to use is creating a VBS file, which allows us to send keystrokes to a Windows machine. Now, paste the VBS script. You can find the code in the video description. The code we are using here is programmed to open the command prompt type the command that enables copying the Wi-Fi details and paste them into the notepad. I have explained every part of the code like this. Now you have to make two main changes. First, type your target Wi-Fi name here correctly. Second, you have to specify the name of the text document where the Wi-Fi details are going to be saved. So, I'll rename this as duck.txt and create another notepad file named duck on the USB flash drive. And now I save this as a VBS file. I've programmed this code to complete all these actions within 5 seconds. Therefore, sometimes this will not work for very slow computers, because they may take some time to load. For example, in this script, it types CMD in the Windows search bar and presses the Enter key after half a second, which means 500 milliseconds. In some slow computers, it might take about 2 or 3 seconds to find CMD. But don't worry, let's try creating an autorun file. Download USB autorun creator software. Now, select the VBS file and choose your USB flash drive. Everything is ready now. When you plug it into your target machine, it will grab the Wi-Fi details and save them in the text document. If the auto run feature doesn't work, you can trick someone by renaming it like this. Let's get started. First, grab a regular USB flash drive and plug it into your computer. Inside the drive, create a new notepad file and paste the code. I'll explain what this batch script does in a moment. If you want to skip ahead, use the timestamps below, but I recommend watching so you know exactly what's happening. You've probably seen that if you open CMD 
and type this command for a specific saved network, it shows that network's details. Our script is made to loop that command over every saved network to automatically collect all the network information. Let's see what happens in our batch script. First, the script restarts itself in a minimized state, so you never see the command window pop up. It just runs quietly in the background. Next, it stores its own full file path in a variable called self. This lets the script know exactly where its batch file is, so later on, it can write the Wi-Fi details right back into that file. After that, it inserts a blank line, then adds a header with the current date and time. This acts as a timestamp, so each Wi-Fi details dump is clearly marked and easy to identify. Then, the script calls a PowerShell command to list every saved Wi-Fi network on the system and extract each network name. This means you don't have to enter network names manually. The script automatically collects all of them, even if they have spaces or special characters. For every Wi-Fi network detected, the script writes the network name in brackets, runs the standard command I showed you earlier to display that network settings and password, adds a blank line, and writes all those details directly back into the same batch file. So after execution, the batch file itself serves as a log containing every saved network's password below the script code, which means the Wi-Fi details automatically saves into the same batch file with the code. Once finished, the script displays a brief message confirming that the Wi-Fi details have been saved in the batch file and shows you the exact file path. Finally, it pauses so you have time to read the confirmation before the window closes. Now I save this as a batch file. So if I run this, it will display you a message after collecting the, all the Wi-Fi details like this. If you need the process to be fully silent, you can remove the pause here so nothing displays after execution. Now we have to make the file run automatically when the flash drive is plugged in. But first, make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. First, download the Auto Run software. Note that the Auto Run software must also be installed on the target machine for automatic execution. Otherwise, you'll need a USB rubber ducky or another keystroke ejection device. Open the Auto Run Creator tool and select the flash drive. Then choose the batch file and click Create. Everything is ready. If I unplug and replug the drive, the batch file runs automatically and collects all the network details. Open the batch file with Notepad and scroll down to view the saved details. So that's it for today. What do you think about this little beast? Leave a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. We'll meet again soon. Goodbye for now.